quick release knots, okay? Which are, you know, I pay, I like a lot of people, I have a knot book out there too. All right, and I suppose I probably not 80 knots in my knot book. But you, you don't need all those knots. You know how many knots you need? You need three. Okay, we could go four. If you're really a crazy wild outdoors person, you could maybe even add a fifth. Beyond that, I don't know, what are you using your knots for? Okay, this is the most important one, two half hitches. You use this for tying, tying your canoe to a tree, uh, tying up one end of a clothesline, anything you want to secure to the end of something. This is probably the most, this is a very useful knot. This is called the sheet bend. It came over with John Smith and the boys on the Mayflower. It's called the sheet bend because at the main sheet or sail on the boat, at the main, the main sheet line holding the sail, Tore, you were in big trouble. Okay, so this was the only knot that you could put hold, put it back together again with that would not slip. And this will work even if you got slippery polypropylene line. It's a very simple knot, but it must be done exactly as shown. You can end it with a quick release like you do here, and this is great because if you put up rain flies or something in camp and, and you, the cord's too short to reach a tree and you've got a daisy chain out there, you add it, you add these things with quick release sheet beds. Blink, 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 as long as you go. So this is the second, this is the second one. Okay, and this is the third one. This, I, I never knew the name of this, I named it a power cinch. It, I learned later that its real name is a trucker's hitch. It is actually a pulley knot. In fact, it's kind of a rendition of the Z drag that they use for canoe rescue because it allows you to provide force this way while exerting force this way. It's really pretty cool. Those of you who are still using a taut line hitch to set up a tent, you need to throw, over, throw away those 1920 Boy Scout books and get with the new program. The old taut line hitch was great when you had canvas tents that shrunk when it rained. Tents don't shrink when it rains. They expand when it rains. They're all nylon today. Hello? <laughs> nylon. Okay, this is the best hitch set I can, we use this all the time. You want to put up a clothesline in camp? That's the hitch. You want to tie a canoe on your car? That's the hitch. A lot of people use straps to put a canoe on their car. That's probably because they don't know how to use a hitch. The advantage of using this over straps on a car is they're not going to steal your ropes, but they will steal your, um, straps, which means you got to take the straps and put them in the car every time you do this, and then you got to take them all out, wind them up. But you'll see, most of your top canoeists who canoe all the time just use ropes, and they take the canoe and they just leave the ropes hanging because they know nobody's going to steal them. And you can throw a rope over a car, and it's not going to have a buckle that's going to hit the car on the other end. So there's some advantage. Yes? You don't show the end of it. you got to have it. When you're all done pulling that tight, you got to put a sheet down. Yeah, it doesn't show it on here. Oh, you're right. And what was the name of it again? Uh, you're right. Or maybe, well, or maybe it just didn't pick up the bottom picture. You're right. It just didn't. You're right. And what you do, you just thank you. Actually, what you do here, this just closes around here with a couple of half pictures. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this, this, you'll just you'll get this where you want, then you'll close it with a couple of half pictures going on. Colin, you guys, are, this is Sunday morning. You guys are really on top of this. Holy cow.